<laughs> uh, oh my god, man. All right, what's going on, Brother Plank? How you doing, sir? Good morning. All right. Morning. Welcome back, everyone, to the uh, most consistently inconsistent entertainment commentary podcast out there. I am your host, Just Jay Sama. I'm here with producer Plank. So, woo. Woo. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a cool while since we did like a full, a full show. Um, let me see. Where do we start? Uh, the only thing I wanted to talk about, of course. yeah, from the beginning of time. Uh, so uh, let's see. Uh, it was one summer evening, and uh, you know, Mama Sama and Papa Sama decided, hey, you know what? Let's get a little fucked up. I think uh, you know we're getting on. Yeah, get a little freaky deaky. Uh, I think uh, you know, and my dad said, I think I think it's time to you know for an offspring uh, to bring somebody in this world with uh, without their consent. And make them pay bills uh, <laughs> for the rest of their life. And my mom said, sure. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. I love bills. <laughs> bills are amazing. Let's uh, let's share these these horrible experiences with another human being that, that has no idea what they're going to get into. Um, and then 30 years later, uh, here we are. And, uh, hey, man, I don't, I don't want to be here. This shit is ghetto. But, uh... Yeah, and then um, it's not really what I wanted to, <laughs> to what yeah, I wanted to talk about. You wanted, yeah. Um, so obviously we can we can talk about uh, there's been enough distance, been enough time. Um, we could talk about the the lack of. Uh, well, I guess I want to ask you how you feel, and I guess we could put it on the Patreon. So I'll probably cut this part out. Um, how do you feel about everybody just suddenly just not wanting to be a part of the podcast anymore? Um, I I assume oh, that was man. due to inconsistency. Yeah. Um. It was, a, it was a lot of things. Yeah. It, it was a lot of things. Which can be like a real, for me, it's it's kind of a bummer because obviously, you know, you would want everybody to be chill and like hang out and like take everybody with you on the journey. But, you know, what I'm slowly learning over time, which I really wish I would have just learned this a lot sooner, uh, is that you can't take everybody with you. Like, it's just not. Well, not only that, but some people don't want to be taken for the ride. Right. As well. You got to realize that as well. It's it would be nice if everyone, you know what I mean, could have a consistent mindset. You know what I mean? Be of the same mindset. But right. It's just when you get to five people. Like mainly on an episode, it's just not possible. Right. Right. Especially when there's they're also like they don't have the the free time that we do. I mean, you do as well. Right. Basically. True. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have a job. They they have jobs, right? They have jobs now. But, you know, even back then, there's just... there. It's just not possible to ask people to do things on differing... Not only differing time schedules, but different time zones. Right. Yeah, yeah. That, that presents a huge impossible. problem. Yeah. Because that's even been an issue with just you and me. Because, you know, I'll get home at a specific time and it's already 9, 10 p.m. for you. And it's just like, oh, shit. You know, and yeah, and that's not even before you have to do all your other shit, set up, like relax, and then get ready. Yeah, you know what I mean. And because then it, at that point it's like eleven for me, ten, eleven, twelve, even. Yeah. Even yeah. right now it's twelve for me. Yeah, bro. But it's I, early I, for you. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I I needed that nap. I was I was up until like six last I, night. Yeah, like... I mean, <laughs> thankfully, you know what I mean. It's not like a month or two ago where my sleep schedule was perfect. You know what I mean? Right, going to right, bed right, at like right. nine, ten p.m. Yeah, like but that was with that was with a uh, with a purpose, though. You know, like that that was still important. I mean, no, it was. I'm not saying it wasn't important, but it's like and now I I fucked it all up, and uh, it doesn't seem like the the timing is perfect for that life. You know what I mean? I'm not l- living a regular life, if that makes sense. I'm just mm. living kind of a. a I am living a regular life, but it's at the same time I'm also not like I'm not committed to something right now. So my I'm very free flow. Mm, okay. You know what I mean? Okay. I mean, uh, I That's I kind of yeah I kind of understand. I feel like I do, but I'm also still not a little. I might just be a little confused, only, but well, it, it it's it goes like this. I'm mm. not not only am I not disciplined enough, but I'm also not. In a place where I can just be like, all right, well, uh, you know what I mean? I want this to work so much that I'll just 
us change the whole schedule around. Mm. Because it's, it's, you know what I mean? It's. Would it's you prefer like, if we did it in the morning? Uh, well, at that, like, you gotta think. Even, even if, let's say, we did it at fucking, you know what I mean, uh, very early your time, that still doesn't, that'd be great. I mean, it fucking suck for waking up that early all the time but there's no there's no 100 percent chance that i will be up at that time mm, okay because okay. either shit in my life will make me because i have friends uh besides you on the west coast that i like to you know i like to hang out with and they be up uh late and then i in turn get up uh, go to sleep late mm -hmm. because they're going to sleep late and i want to be with them and i want to you know still be tapped in with my my close friends right 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 but you know what i mean if i do that if we have the episodes in the morning then i'm i'm committed to that mm. i just like to put out more episodes in general at a reasonable time true 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 yeah uh yeah, i don't think the time really matters that much as long as they get out yeah i don't i don't think so either i was very committed to like the record on sunday post on monday um yeah that was always very very easy um, and then of course, when we do the Patreon, that's kind of like spur of the moment thing where it's just like, Oh, if there's like a story we want to talk about, or if there's a, another sp very specific, like thing we want to talk about, it's just like, Oh, okay. Let's do like a quick 20 minute, 30 minute, you know, thing we can pop up on the Patreon. Like, so, yeah. um, which I'm, I'm cool with that. You know, I, I wouldn't really, uh, I don't, right now I actually don't have any, any objections towards anything and like even when i sent you that message the other day where i was just like hey I, I have to like focus on some shit like i had a really interesting situation with my job so my job is comprised of two companies that contract me out for all of like my it work and stuff like that right so i work from 8 a.m to 5 p.m for these two companies and they split the bill and, and basically like pay my entire salary uh together yeah. so apparently one of the companies uh, which is owned by, you know, he's essentially a, a close friend of mine and my family now. Uh, yes. he, he hit me with a phone call on Tuesday and he was like, well, you know, the company's out of money. And, uh, you know, I can't afford to, you know, continue to pay your services. And I'm like, all right, that's kind of crazy because he's only paying half. He's only paying half of how much, like... Cause I get paid thirty dollars an hour, so you're essentially only paying me fifteen, which is minimum wage, like at half, at like part time. So twenty hours a week, fifteen dollars an hour, and then the other half of the the other company is paying the same amount. But it also depends on if I'm driving anywhere, if I'm seeing any clients, if I'm working excessively, like more hours, then they pay me more money. So like when I drive to uh, like the Mojave Desert and stuff like that, it goes from $30 an hour to $35 an hour is what I'm paid. Mm. And then I also get paid per diem, mileage, uh, hotel, and like all this other stuff. So, and since my car accident and, you know, fracturing my foot and my tibia and the torn meniscus and the disc in my back, my knee, my shoulders, bro, my, my doctor was like, how are you? He actually asked me, he's like, how are you moving around? Like, <laughs> And he's like, you have two cracked ribs and like all this other stuff. I was like, bro, this is normal. What are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, I don't even feel this shit. Feeling great, actually. Yeah, hey, I was just I, like, hey, yeah, hey, I'm not gonna lie, man. I, that that car accident had me feeling feeling a little bit better. I'm like, ooh, wait a minute, I could, I could bend different ways, but um, <laughs> you know, like doing all that, and so now I'm like, I knew there was gonna be an issue. Number one, just working from home all the time because. They already – they like to at least see me in the office a couple of times a week. Uh, and yeah. me not being able to travel to our other clients and stuff like that has been a really big issue because I can't drive my car. Uh, bro, I, I got a ticket the other day just for moving my fucking car. And uh, yeah. actually, funny enough, that day I messaged you, I moved my car that morning to a spot where – because like in – basically where I'm at in LA, like it has like really weird like – street sweeping times and stuff like that so it's like 10 a you can't park there from like 10 a.m to noon on wednesday and then on the other side of the street it'll be like 10 a.m to uh 1 p.m on thursday i'm like okay cool it's it's tuesday like I'm, i don't have to worry about moving my car at all so uh 
I had to move it from the meter spot that it was at to like one of the residential areas to where like I don't have to pay for the parking. So I move it and bro, I come out, I move it at 4 a.m. Because, uh, you know, I can't lock, I basically can't lock my, my car. So I have to leave it unlocked at all times so I can actually get in it because there's no, there's no keyhole on the passenger side. So in order to unlock the car, I have to climb through the trunk because there's no driver handle. So that's the, yeah. So I either lock the car and then have to climb in through the trunk, but I have a fractured foot, bro. I can't, and a fucked up knee. I can't, I can't be climbing in and out of my car, you know, at, at whatever time I'm supposed to be moving it. I can barely walk on this bitch. So I move it at 4 a.m. because, you know, it's just a lot easier to get in, you know, get in the trunk. It looks less suspicious, blah, 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 blah. I find a parking space at 6. I'm like, cool. I can stay here all day. Bro, I go back to my apartment. I take like a 15-minute nap. I get up and I realize, oh, shit, I have some documents in the car I need to go get for like, you know, for work and stuff like that. It's just basically Mm. like my notebook. I go to look for my car and it's not there. And I'm like, what the fuck? Wait, where's my car? And there's suddenly construction signs that were put up that says no parking from 6, 6.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. And I'm like, yo, they just put this here. So I have to call like the hotline or whatever and my car gets towed. Uh, and so I have to go and pick it up from the police impound. I didn't know. Uh, they gave me the wrong information. Like, so when I called the hotline, I was like, yeah, this is my car, blah, 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 blah. I just want to know what time it was picked up. And it was picked up at 6.32. And I'm like, so they didn't even wait. They didn't even wait like 30 minutes or anything like that to see if like, hey, you know, this might be really inconsiderate of whoever's parked here. But, you know, whatever, I guess. So I call the hotline. The lady says, yes, this specific tow yard has it. Uh, You have to call them, get the bill, you know, and stuff like that. And I'm thinking like, oh, it's probably all the way over in East L.A. I live in like Midtown L.A. So that's 47, 50 minute commute out of the way, just in a car. And at this point I had paid all my bills. I paid my rent. My pockets are empty. I have maybe 400 bucks left. And so I'm like, okay, I can't take an Uber. I got to take a bus and a train. I'm like, wherever it is, I got to figure out how to get there. Um, And I can't ask anybody for help because uh, not just a point of pride, but I can't ask anybody for help financially because that's becoming very frequent as of the last like year so i can't keep Mm. asking people for help and it's not a monetary issue so i have to like be very careful about who i ask for help and when so Mm. i'm like okay no big deal like i'm texting my girlfriend i'm like hey this happened blah 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 so i'm on my way to the tow yard um i get ready to to leave i throw on my pants i have to charge my phone all this other stuff get my mask all this other shit right so i have to get ready that takes about 10 15 minutes I call the place. I'm like, hey, I'm looking for this specific car. Uh, It was picked up this morning at 634, blah, 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 blah. And the guy goes, okay, so let me go look. Puts me on hold for about 10 fucking minutes. So I I hang up and I call back. And I was like, hey, I'm looking for my car. You know, I was put on hold, blah, 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 blah. And he goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just about to get you back on the phone. We actually don't have your car. We don't even service that area. So I'm like, huh? Who, Who the fuck has my fucking car? So then I have to call the original hotline back and they're like, oh, well, we don't know who picked up the car then because that's who service, who's supposed to service this specific tow company. And she goes, there is one other number that you can call. And she gives me like some like 818 number. And I was like, 818, like that's the fucking valley. Like that's like Glendale. That's like an hour away uh, on the other side of the Hollywood sign, basically. And mm. so I'm like... <laughs> You got to be fucking kidding me. I'm just, I'm livid at that point. So I call the place. They're like, yeah, we have your car. Um, But, you know, at, I was like, I asked them, I was like, what time can I come and pick it up? They were like, oh, well, we don't open until eight. And I was like, okay, so do you guys charge like a service fee? And do you charge like a storage fee? And the guy was like, yeah, the storage fee starts at 830. So essentially the way it works is when they pick up your car, it already counts as, um, they, they have a towing fee, they have a city fee, they have a service fee, and then they have a storage fee. The storage fee is determined by how many hours your car has been there. Every, every day it gets charged like another certain amount. Day one all automatically counts as two days in storage. 
So a day to pick it up and a day to keep it. So I'm like, okay, how much is it going to cost me? The guy tells me it's going to be $412. I'm like, okay. I literally only have maybe $380. And I'm like, all right, so I got I to gotta put the rest on my credit card. I go to, I pack up all my shit. I'm getting ready to go. I get their address. They're located in downtown LA. They're not in, they're not in the Valley. I'm like, oh, thank God. Cool. It's, it's only an, it's only like 50 minutes out of the way by train and bus. I can make that work, bro. I get ready to leave my house. I see a notification on my phone. Thank you for your automatic payment, bro. For some reason, the day that I needed to get my car out of the impound, my fucking, my cell phone bill was due. And they automatically took the money out of my account. So that's now 70 more dollars I'm out. And I'm like, I, I'm like, holy shit, like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, my life is a fucking sitcom at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's that's crazy. So I'm doing some quick math. I'm like, yo, I only got this amount, blah, 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 blah. I can't ask anybody for some money. So I start going through my other credit cards. I'm like, all right, all right, I, I could probably make this work. So I call them and I ask them, I was like, hey, do you guys accept multiple payment, like multiple forms of payment? And they were like, how many cards are you going to pay with? Because there's a fee for that. I was like, of course there's a fucking fee for that. And I was like, okay, it's only going to be three cards. They were like, oh, you should be fine. It's only a $5 fee uh, for every additional card. I'm like, okay, great, cool. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. It's going to come out to be $417. I'm putting some quick math together. I'm hopping on the train. I'm hopping on the bus, blah, 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 blah. It takes me an hour to get there because there's so much fucking traffic at that time in the morning. I get there at 818 and I'm like, okay, cool. At 8.30, they're going to charge me for a day. So that's going to bring it from $400 to $500. So I'm like, I'm trying to get in there. I'm like, hey, this is my vehicle. But there's some guy in there who is like screaming at the dude who owns the towing company. Like he owns the building and like like the actual company that's there. And apparently this dude was drunk driving. He hit a pole. He crashed into some other lady's car and totaled his car. And so he was yelling at the guy. He was like, I don't care if all of these other things have happened. I still want my car. And the guy's trying to tell him like, no, your car's been totaled. Like you can't take it with you. Like unless you have a, like a tow truck here to pick up your, your car that is no longer, it doesn't have wheels. It doesn't have a windshield. It's missing this, that, that. He fucked his car up. Whatever the fuck he did, this thing was no longer drivable. And this guy's like, oh, well, I don't need a tow truck. I just, I'm pretty sure I can just drive it. Like it was running perfectly fine when I crashed it. And it was just like, there's a whole like police report and all this other shit. Yeah. And I'm overhearing this and I see the clock and I'm like, it's eight 25 brother. I need you to get the fuck out of the way. Like, so yeah, yeah. So there's one guy who works there. He's like, Hey man, are you waiting in line? I was like, my brother, my brother, please help me my out. I'm just Christ, trying to, please. yeah, my brother in Christ, please. Inshallah, please. <laughs> I'm trying. I am trying so desperately to get my car. He's like, Oh man, I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. Let me get your ID. Do you have your registration for your car and everything? I was like, it's in the car. He's like, all right, cool. So let me just mark down that you were here. What time did you get here? I was like eight 17. And he was like, Oh, okay. You're good. You're good. Like I was like, the price is not going to change. He's like, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. Like, don't even worry about it. I'm going to process your payment. I was like, all right, cool bet. So he walks me to the yard. I tell him, I was like, yeah, I can't get in my car. And he goes, what do you mean? I was like, well, I have to climb in through the trunk when the doors are locked. And he goes, are you serious? I was like, yeah. And I show him the side of my car and how like from front to back, it's like all scraped up on the side. The door is dented in. Like I can't even, I can barely use the window. And uh, he's like, damn, bro, like that sucks. I was like, yeah. And then, uh, it makes this weird clicking sound. So at any point, any time, if my car throws a tantrum, the airbag is automatically going to deploy because my heart was, my car was hit so hard, but the airbag didn't deploy. So when I took it to Dang. get an estimate, they were like, yeah, your car's not safe to drive. Like the airbag could go off at any time. I'm like, well, I got shit to do. <laughs> so well. anyway, all this wraps up. I pay the money, me and the guy are chit chatting and stuff like that. He's like, your, your tires are looking a little low, my man. Do you want some air? I was like, bro, I can't, however much that is, I can't, I can't pay for it. I literally use my last, like, I only have $6 that's going to last me until my next payday, which is not until the 15th. And he goes, oh, don't worry about it. I got you. Like, and so he pumps my tires up or whatever. And I'm like, hey, bro, I'm not, <laughs> yeah, I almost started crying. I was like, yo, you made, what you did was like nothing to you, but to me, like you saved my life. <laughs> so I pay all this money. 
I get in the car, I drive back home, it's about 20 minute drive, I park my car in a place where it's just like, okay, this is day parking, like I'm perfectly fine. Cool, I pay the meter, it, unfortunately the meters that are on my street, you can only pay for them once an hour. They don't have like a function where you can pay for more than an hour at a time. Just because it's, you know, not a, not a, a busy street, but it's not a, like a dead street either. It's not like a residential street. So mm. I got to come out every single hour to, you know, pay the meter. So I pay the meter. I go back in the house. I now have to get ready for work. Uh, I have three assignments I have to do. And my boss is like, hey, where have you been? Uh, have you been sleeping? This motherfucker thinks I was sleep. <laughs> He's like, you're running late. I'm like, dog, you have no idea the fucking morning I went through. So I, I, you know, hop on my computer. I start working on all my assignments and stuff. I hear my timer go off. I go out to my car. Tell me why there's a ticket on my fucking car. Jesus. <laughs> there's not, not just one. There's two tickets. <laughs> there's God. a ticket for the expired meter. I'm sorry. Three tickets, excuse me. There's a ticket for the expired meter. There's a ticket for my expired registra- registration, which it's it's April 2nd at this point. Like, it's April 5th, April whatever the fuck. Like, it's still the fir- not even the first seven days of April, and my registration was due in March. So I have a ticket for that. I also have a, a fucking ticket, a fix-it ticket for my fucking mirror because somebody came along and, like, my mirror is, my driver's side mirror is only held together with duct tape. Apparently somebody came by and was desperate for duct tape and started ripping the duct tape off of my fucking mirror, bro. What the fuck? So some parking enforcement person collaborated with a LAPD officer and said, you know what? We need to give this person three tickets at one time. <laughs> bro, I have never <laughs> yo, I have never felt gangbanged by society before, but this was a real, real, like close situation. And then I just realized, I was like, I've been here before. Like, I wasn't even upset. Like, I found it weird that I wasn't upset. I was like, this is comedically, like, timed. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. It doesn't make any sense. So, I come back inside. Uh, I'm doing more of my work or whatever. Uh, the, I set another timer. It goes off. I go, and then I'm like, okay, it's pretty close to noon. I can move my car. I go to move my car. Man, there's no fucking parking anywhere. There's <laughs> on that side of the street, there's it's supposed to be from no parking from uh, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Nigga, I am moving my car at 1145 a.m. Why are all of these spaces already taken? Like, Man. I I am they having you got to be quicker. Than yeah, that. they hit me with the bamboozle. So I'm like, OK, so I put it back at a meter I, I can't make this up. I go to try to get the same parking space that I moved my car from. There's already a parking. There's already a car park there. So I have to drive at least like four more blocks away from my house, down the street, at a different meter for another hour. So I'm like, hey, you got to be fucking kidding me. And meanwhile, I still can't walk very well. <laughs> so I have to walk. I have to walk maybe a little bit under of a quarter of a, a quarter of a mile from from my from my place so i put the timer on or whatever i make sure i leave 10 minutes early bro for the rest of the day i don't want to talk to nobody i'm upset i don't want to do nothing my girl calls me she's like oh good morning i'm like shut the fuck up bitch i can't fucking talk to you (laughs) like i can't i can't deal with this home girl calls me and she's like hey i haven't heard from you this morning because she usually gets up at like six i usually get up at eight and like i'll check in with whoever the fuck you know i'm talking to for the day she's like i haven't heard from you this morning i was like bitch i can't talk to you today i can't talk to anybody my mom calls me she wants to have a conversation about some shit my brother did i said mom you gotta get the fuck off my phone today like (laughs) and she goes why is everything okay i was like i'm not gonna lie to you mom i'm fucking livid and so i begin to tell her the the gangbang of a fucking financial situation that i've managed to squeak myself into by just existing and she was just like Damn, you really have no luck with cars. I almost, yo, if I could punch my mom through the fucking phone, like she's such a fucking negative person, right? So I, I, I really was just like, hey, you know what, mom? I can't talk to you today. <laughs> and she goes, she goes, why? Are you okay? I was like, you know what? For you to even ask me that, I'm like, inshallah, I swear to God. Like, <laughs> 
If you weren't my mother, I would punch you in the fucking mouth. I just need you to know. So I get back inside, bro. I, I, I ended up moving my car. And then I come back inside. And I'm just like done for the day. I turn the fan on. It's fucking hot here for some reason in LA. It decided to be 92 degrees that day. I lay in my fucking bed. And then my other boss calls me. And I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. And so I'm talking to him. And I'm telling him about, you know, what my other boss, you know, because it's two owners. I told him what, you know, what the situation was and what was going on. And he was like, oh, man, I wish I had some answers for you. Now, when you tell somebody that is under your employment and you pay for their their way of life, their salary and all this other shit. And you tell them, damn, I wish I had an answer for you. That's not a good look. (laughs) That's not a good look at all. Yeah, that's the opposite of a good look. Yeah, exactly. So I'm kind of panicking. I'm like, so I'm asking him, I was like, is there anything more I could do for the company? Because at this point, like, I'm not technically savvy enough to be handling, like, all of these actual, like, technical issues that we're having, like, with clients and, like, troubleshooting and stuff like that. So I might as well just be fetching fucking coffee at this point, which I can't even do because my foot is broken. And he goes, yeah, you know, don't worry about it. The company's going to be fine. Like, you're going to be fine. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, There's no reason to be nervous. I was like, this literally sounds like all, like, red flags to be nervous about. Are you sure? And now, keep in mind, this specific boss has known me since I was 14 years old. He's known Mm. me for majority of my adult life because I was dating his daughter for the past 11 years. So you know he knows how i am like he knows me as a person he knows i'm i'm fucking freaking out and shit and then he goes you know the company is fine we don't have to worry about anything at least until the end of this month now when you say <laughs> now when you say till the end of this month it is currently april 6th yeah. april 7th or whatever the fuck oh, day it was all the time yeah sir i only get paid two times a month and I've already exhausted 100% of my resources that I made available from last month. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck does any of that mean? Are you, are you kidding me? Are you serious? And so I'm trying not to panic, but I'm panicking. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. the first yeah, thing I do, the time to panic. yeah, the first thing I do is like, well, I'm back on this job grind. I, I have to have a job in the next 30 days. Like, and so, you know, everything is hitting the fan all at one time. And so, funny enough, one more thing happens. As if, it's almost like I, like if I had told you this, like this was a story in a TV show, you'd be like, wow, this this sounds like a pretty interesting show. (laughs) This guy calls me that I I had a car accident with two months ago. Like I, we got into a little fender bender where I was like falling asleep at the wheel because I, you know. I'm driving at fucking 6 a.m. in the morning and going home at 8 p.m. at night. I'm going to be a little tired. So, you know, I I bumped into his little 09 Honda Civic or whatever, man. And uh, I was like, oh, you know, if we could take care of this privately. Me and this dude, he was trying to be as difficult as possible at the time. Fucking Hispanic dude, man. And he was just like, oh, but I got to call the police. I got to make a report and this, that, and the other thing. Yeah, I don't know. What if you... What if you leave? What if you don't have the money to pay for this? What if you don't have insurance? All He was just trying to make it difficult at the time of the accident. So he calls me and he's like, hey, uh, I haven't heard from you regarding the damages of you paying for my car, this, that, and the other thing. And it's a thousand dollars. And I'm like, hey, bro, listen, I just, if you could give me just a little bit more time. He goes, well, you know, I think I've been more than considered. He's like, like getting, like talking loud at me. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, you better get that bass out of your fucking voice because I could have beat your fucking ass. Like, I, I wanted to. Like, a- at the time of the accident, bro, I was fucking livid. I was like, yo, you got to you gotta be a little bit more considerate. Mid-pandemic and, it's, and an accident happens, nobody's hurt, there's no damages, but you want to be a fucking asshole, bro? I should have beat the fuck out of you. So, this guy's talking about, yeah, I think I've been more than considerate. Um, you know, you've had about two months now and I haven't heard from you. Do you think, like, you'll have it this Friday? Like, I just need you to, to pay for the estimate for the car or whatever. It's like $1,080 or something like that. And I'm trying to, like, piece this together in my head. I'm like, my rent is $1,400. This is another $1,000. Rent is due on the 1st <clears throat> of next month. I'm panicking because I only got one more paycheck between then and there. <laughs> so, and as far as I know, I think I'm out of a job. <laughs> so... 
I'm like, hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. Can you just give me a bit more time? And he and I are going back and forth. And he's like, you know, this is really inconsiderate. Like, you know, I've been a nice person up until now and blah, 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 blah. Just have have it prepared by Friday. Otherwise, I might have to go through like uh, basically like I have a shitty insurance. So uh, mm. he was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to go through our insurance or whatever. And bro, I'm fucking livid at this point. I was like, yo, I think I think you being a real bitch ass nigga about this. I'm not even gonna lie. I could have served you with the fucking hands, bro. I think you're doing a little bit too much. And he just goes, just have my money by Friday. And I'm like, I don't know what type of mobster movie you think you were fucking watching before you contacted me, but I will fold you like a fucking lawn chair, bro. You're gonna get your fucking money when I send it to you. And not only that, I need you to sign a, a piece of paper from my lawyer that says you received confirmation. He was like, you can't just send it through PayPal today. And I was like, dog, I'm not sending you shit today. Like, it's not fucking happening. Like, I'm not sending you anything. He's like, but PayPal gives you a, a receipt and, like, proof of that you sent the money. I'm like, that's not the issue. The issue is I'm not giving you the money today. That's it. That's literally it. And this guy goes... Uh, well, you know, then we're, I guess we're just going to have a problem. I was like, you about to have a physical problem because I know where the fuck you live, bro. And <laughs> yeah, I was just, I was not, I was not in for it. And so, you know, we get off the phone or whatever and I call my dad and I'm chopping it up with him. I'm telling him what's going on. And he goes, Jay, you know, I understand you wanting to beat this guy's ass, but that's not going to solve anything. Now, my dad was in the military, right? A lot of things were solved with violence in our household. So that's just what I, I, I've like come to know, <laughs> basically. I'm like, yo, you have a disagreement with another grown ass man. We finna mix it up. That's it. That's, that's all it is. Ain't none of, none of this chit chat. Ain't none of that shit. Put your fucking hands up. So <laughs> my dad being the voice of reason in this situation, I was, I was baffled. I was like, yo, I must've been really out of it. <laughs> so I, I tell him everything that's going on. He goes, don't worry about it. We gonna take care of it. We gonna figure it out. And my day, for the rest of the day, I turn my phone off, I lay face down in my bed, and I hope I stop breathing for the day. I'm like, I mm. can't. This was all in a span of 12 hours. <laughs> I'm, I don't know how I fucking maintained and kept it together. And uh, so, you know, I was a little preoccupied with trying to put a show together this past week. Because I really wanted to take the time to, like, full on go back to, like, making a piece of content every single day because you know my logic is you know me and plank can talk about pretty much any any topic we find you know we'll have a conversation about it we'll we'll have like even if we don't have an opinion we'll express that we don't have an opinion because of a specific situation whether we relate to it or we don't relate to it we're still able to talk about it cool yeah. we should at least have one story per day and then like per week like we could probably do something because the more peer-to-peer -peer, the more playback i watch the more agent i watch the more low i watch even john like the more i watch amp i'm just like these dudes are literally just doing the same thing that they do every single day they just happen to put a camera in front of them and i'm like this is this is absolutely insane that all of these guys are fucking millionaires <laughs> they're fucking millionaires doing very That's basic thing, yeah doing <clears throat> very basic things you know like it's not like they're doing fucking making the next spider-man no way home type b you know like mm. it's fucking I mean, but they, insane they, they uh they capitalized on their market and they did it well so <clears throat> there's not you know what i mean we just gotta put in more effort it seems yeah yeah truly truly so but, um, i mean the way your life goes it, who knows man yo it and just, this it is... might just be me <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm saying i guess about to be playing yeah right so it's 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 tough, man, because I have every week, like this scenario that I took 30 minutes to explain and break down just literally one day of my life, stuff like that happens to me every week on a level that's just like, whoever is writing this season of my life story needs to be fired immediately because this guy has mm -hmm. no fucking talent whatsoever. Uh, he can't come up with good plot lines. The fucking romance tr skill tree is getting all fucked up this season. Like, it's real, real fucking bad. Like, it's just getting to a point where, like, whatever is broken in the simulation is very obvious that it's a simulation. At least for my life in particular. So I had a real, like, main character issue this week. Like, main character moment where I really just felt like I was being treated like an NPC, but I'm the main character type. Like, I, I have main mm. character issues, but I'm actually just an NPC in this world. And, like, 
it's it's not fair like it, it doesn't make any sense to 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 put it in terms of like skyrim you know like the first couple of people in like the the village that you encounter when you first start like like river one or white run or something like that and you yeah. got the dude who's like oh i'm just trying to farm chickens for the rest of my life but then he has a dragon land on his house it's just like this is not my issue like why am i why am i taking on this challenge that has nothing to do with me <laughs> so that's what my life is like on a on a weekly basis so it makes it very difficult to schedule things it makes it very difficult to uh to work on things so i guess where i'm going with all this is number one i would like to uh formally apologize to you specifically and like if I, at any point in time i like took your time for granted and i'm like hey i'll be there in 30 minutes and then it takes me an hour because i'm sitting in traffic uh it's not that i wanted to be there in an hour it's just all of a sudden my tires went flat and then the, and and there was traffic and then when i tried to put air in my tire the fucking machine was broken and then i had to go to another gas station and they were like oh but you have to pay for gas in order to in order to use the pump and then it's just like all right bro so now i'm out 30 dollars and i gotta put air in my tire and i'm already 30 minutes late and then you know i show up and <clears> then <throat> it's midnight for you and i'm just like oh let's get to work or whatever you know it's only nine here and it's just like so i just want to say i'm I, i'm really really sorry about Anytime that well, I do that. <clears throat> the thing is with me is I'm, I've been, uh, I'm not to fucking suck my own dick, but I, I'm very patient. Mm. Sometimes, you know what I mean? If we can't do an episode, that's fine. Like we can compensate by doing two the next, right? Mm -hmm. that, that's my, my take on it. Like, I don't, you don't have to worry about, unless it's like you said, oh yeah, you about to be here at 12 my time. And that was eight. I was like, whoa. And you didn't even say anything mm -hmm. that that's where it really becomes a problem but i mean you haven't really done that i mean if you if you have been late you've usually said like hey i'm about to be late uh usually if it's a very long time that's uh, it's gonna be late right yeah uh, I, or you'll say something like i, that. I try to be as considerate of your time as possible um just because you know just because my life is fucked up doesn't mean i have to fuck up somebody else's schedule so you know i, I try to well, that's very there, important. There's even me, been so. a few times where I'm just like, hey, just cancel it and then we'll do whatever. We'll do something else. It's right, not a right. big deal to, to, to just say, okay, we'll do it another time. Right. Just as long as it gets done. Right. It's honestly, it's getting to the point where we just need to get shit done. Yeah. Like, I don't really, the time frame shouldn't really matter mm -hmm. because we should have enough uh, built up, like, built up stories and shit that we can just go on uh, a few episodes about it or like you know a couple or something like that just to compensate oh we'll man do a patreon or you know what i mean I, i've tried to make it uh i've tried to make it so that even if we don't do exactly what we're supposed to we can still like navigate to different areas and shit and right compensate in that way right right yeah because i but, i mean imagine <laughs> imagine if we had this schedule with five different people. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> it would be literally impossible. Yeah, no, nothing's getting done at all. Yeah, that would be that would be absolute literally. hell, man. So exactly. But I mean, the also the good thing about it, if we did have more people, is that you wouldn't necessarily need to be here. Right. Right. You know what I mean? At all times. Yeah. But then but, I mean, that's it's no longer, you know. Yeah, I mean, but even in a situation like that, where it's just like okay, we're going to do a show without Jay today because, you know, he's running two hours late or whatever. So it's just like everybody else will, you know, pick up the slack. And then there's this sudden energy of, oh, Jay's not here, which means there might as well not even be a show today. There's been a couple mm -hmm. of times where, like, the NFT episode was really good. Uh, there's been a, also a couple of times where it's just like, oh, okay, so I don't really have to do much because Jay's not here to, to drive the show. Um, and then there's also the exact opposite has happened quite a few times actually the there's been multiple times where i wasn't able to make a show and you guys just banged out a really really good fucking show so you know i i really that that was a moment where i really felt like oh i put my faith in 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 the right set of people like sometimes yeah. there it, it may be a few misses here and there but like it's been very consistent when i wasn't here that at, like huge amounts of effort was put in so uh and i loved it it was beautiful man it was great um, I definitely yeah. miss it a little bit, but you know, I'll trade that for consistency. So, you know, yeah, hopefully at some point it'll, it'll get to a point where, uh, 
you i mean i think for the most part right with your injuries you know what i mean you can't be on all the time like it's physically impossible but i mean if we could bang out like two a week that'd make me happy yeah two we could do a week that. for like a couple like two months at least you know what i mean right that'd be great yeah, that's you definitely. Know what I mean, then I could deserve that Patreon money. Oh that's yeah, yeah, for I, sure. That's when I deserve it. Oh, okay. So now, now you've given. See, see, I've been asking you the whole time. Why won't you take this Patreon money? But now it makes more sense. Uh, now that you've well, given me a scope of like, hey, this I is said, what I would like to. <laughs> this is what I would like to do. So, it gave me a solution. This, that's what I mean. That's what I was always thinking, right? Because the, my whole thing was, I don't even deserve the money, right? Because if I can't. If we have four, we only have like what four episodes on Patreon. I don't deserve that money. That money's just sitting there. Mm. We put in four episodes over the last like five months. Mm. That's not. It's not good enough for me. If that mm. makes sense. I understand. It's, it's not that I necessarily don't deserve it. It's just I don't feel that it's appropriate to take it when I'm not giving back to the people that support. You know what I mean? Mm. Right, right. I right. feel like it'd be disrespectful to take that money. Mm. Okay, that makes sense. I I, I understand that. I, you know I can definitely I mean? feel very uh, a, a very specific way about that. So, I fuck with it. I fuck with it a lot. I mean, at the end of the day, though, it's you know what I mean. If you wanted to take it, I wouldn't feel like I wouldn't be like, oh God, look at Jay taking all the fucking money. Like I wouldn't care if like you were just like, hey, I need this money. I'd be like, all right, well, that's cool. I also like I'm in a also in a a, a very privileged position that I don't have to pay bills yet i don't have to pay like crazy bills i just do the laundry and shit mm. you know what i mean i do the laundry i do the dishes you know what i mean right. make sure my little brother is good right right i mean i don't necessarily need it it'd be nice to have it you know what i mean money is great mm -hmm. you know what i mean to buy something eventually but at the, the same same time it's just you know what i mean i don't necessarily need it as much as probably you do mm. right right so i guess um I guess what we'll do is we'll we'll probably do that. We'll we'll just do the you know the, the two to three a week. Um, I just have to like schedule it around like my physical therapy and doctor's appointments and stuff like that. So like yeah, when I, mean, I get home, you know, we can hop. The on. thing is, as long as we have a discussion, right? Like if you're like, oh, we need to do a morning episode, I'd be all right. That's I'll wake up in the morning. Right. You know what I mean? Because I the thing is is the in the mornings is like I don't get on because there's just nothing to do. Right. Otherwise, you'd just there, be sitting in If there in were DC. something to do, yeah, I'd just be sitting alone. I'd be the fucking bored as shit. Right. If there was something to do, yeah, I'd fucking crank out, like, six episodes if I could. Mm. You know what I mean? It's not that big. True, true, true. Waking true. up. Yeah, I actually, um, I'm more energized at 6 a.m. for creative shit than I am to, like... Because, like, when I get up at 6 to have to go to work... It's just like I fucking hate it. Like I, I just, I'm like, wow, I'm, yeah. I can't believe I'm fucking doing this. But like when I work from home and I don't have any assignments as of like 8 a.m. and I wake up at six, I'm like energized because I'm like, holy shit, like I, I feel like a real content creator. I feel like a real fucking YouTuber. Um, yeah, <laughs> some shit's getting done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can actually do some shit, and I can, um, you know, I feel more invested in my creative endeavors. So I can, I can, yeah. just, I can actually fucking do it. So. Um, you know, that's probably probably something that we'll give it a try. You know, go fuck with it maybe you a couple just gotta times. Just got to let me know the day, either the day prior or the day before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. A day or two in advance. Yeah. So Because sometimes my, my schedule will be out of whack. Mm -hmm. And the honestly, as of recently, I been taking two melatonin, like 24 milligrams or whatever. That shit is not hitting. Mm. Shit is not hitting. I was, I literally, I took melatonin at 12. It took me till 4 a.m. to... Uh, actually go to sleep wow yeah you're taking too much no it's not i'm t not taking enough yeah. <laughs> you, 24 used to knock me out really you're not yeah, I, I, don't I don't even think you're supposed to take that amount of melatonin <laughs> you can go uh, to sleep and not wake up chief <laughs> oh <laughs> that's what i like yeah. uh, <laughs> same but two used to like give me at least a guaranteed four mm -hmm. when i was like you know my fucked up sleep schedule mm -hmm. give me a guaranteed four Okay. And now, like, I take two, I, you know, lay in bed with the lights off for 30 minutes, and I'm fucking, I'm fucking awake. I'm alert. Mm. Even without drinking a coffee beforehand, like, I'd just be alert. And then I get up, and then I go, you know, my friends are still on from the West Coast. And I'm like, okay, well, now I have something to do. Right, right. Hmm. That, fucks, that fucks my whole shit up. 
Yeah, I can, I can see how that would happen. So, um, yeah, it's very, very easily. Yeah, because you know when you're telling me you're taking 24 milligrams, I'm like, hey, yo, it takes me like five to get to sleep. Like I, I be getting drowsy like 20, 30 minutes later. Like, oh, well, and, you uh, also stay up for way longer than me. Yeah, I also sleep in two hour intervals. Uh, like when I have a lot of stuff to do or I have a lot of stuff going on or you know just to to be real with you, I got a lot of stuff on my mind or. I'm being tortured by something emotionally or psychologically. Yeah, I'll sleep for like two hours at a time and then wake up. Um, even today, like when I went to go take a nap earlier, uh, I I knew I was sleeping too long because my body was like, hey, we feel good right now. And my, and I immediately woke up feeling guilty. I was like, oh, fuck, like what happened? And it was like three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like on a Saturday. I don't have shit to do. Why do I feel like that? And it's, uh, it's mostly uh, just like shit I have to deal with in like therapy and stuff like that. So it's, it's a trauma response to always feeling like I'm late and not having mm. very good time management. And, but I can't have good time management if the world is trying to fuck my, t my work schedule all the fucking time. So, you know, that well, don't have nothing to do with me, but whatever, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, um, yeah, but I can't even knock out so hard. Yeah. That's, that's tough, man. I, uh, I would think that at a certain point in time, you might be taking too much melatonin and your body's just used to it at this point. So The thing is, uh, I, I probably didn't say this, but I use it very scarcely. That's oh. why 24 knocks me out. Oh, I wow. don't use it like, I don't take two, I don't take fucking two pills every day. Mm. Uh, I take it like, you know, once or twice a week, mm -hmm. not even, sometimes not even, like mm. once or two, once or two every like two to three weeks. Dang. Okay. And it's still it's still not hitting me like it should. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, you might need to you might need to talk to somebody about that. Uh, that doesn't sound good. No, I'll be all right. I mean, the the thing is though, like I can sleep normally. It's not like I need it. It's just it very it help a lot if ah. I'm waking up early. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I I don't I don't need it. Whenever I take it, it's because I need to sleep. Like it's an emergency. Like it's 2:30 in the morning and I have to get up at 6. Like and then I'll take like yeah. half half of a melatonin and i'm like all right well this should be enough to like get me to start going to sleep so but uh that shit is dangerous man you gotta be careful with that shit you can't nah, be doing that right <laughs> if it kill if it takes me out god he'd be like damn I, this is all it took huh this is this this is great yes <laughs> this is the greatest sleep ever sweet relief <laughs> finally i'd be feeling that way man i mean you know, I've just described a portion of my life to you, bro. I've been I've been trying to get the fuck up out of here for a long time. Like, my girlfriend hates it when I say this shit, but I I'm trying to log the fuck out permanently. She'll be all right. She'll be all right. Yeah, she'll be straight. She'll find another dude or whatever. Like, I'm a dime yeah. a dozen. Like, you're just looking for somebody funny and under six feet tall. You'll be all right. That's a that's a lot of dudes. Yeah, that's actually a lot of them. Yeah. So you know, two of them are right here. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <laughs> What? <laughs> this guy got jokes. Funny under six foot? Right. That's, that's both of us. Hey, right, 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 right. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> uh, you're just rubbing it in that I'm under six feet tall. Stop it. Bro, I'm not six feet either. Let me ask you a question. If you could take three inches off your meat to be three inches taller, would you? God, no. I would. I'm, I got I'm enough already, meat. I'm <laughs> I'm already struggling with it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, wait a minute. Never mind, man. Never mind. You need me to donate you some meat, bro? <laughs> yeah, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> I got you, man. Yo, we, we'll head down to the hospital. We'll get, you know, that transplant going. We'll get you a transfusion of three inches of, of meat. My stat. Shit, my shit discolored. <laughs> <laughs> discolored. <laughs> you be telling your girls, hey, 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 listen, you ever been with somebody, uh... Did you know I'm part black? They'd be like, oh, like logic? Nah. I just just <laughs> below my waist and above my knees. You know, no big deal. <laughs> She's like, what? Yeah, I'm black where it counts. <laughs> oh, you like man. like white meat or you like dark meat? I got both. I, I got to assign you a section. <laughs> assign seating. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Yo, that shit's wild. Could you imagine you just have, like, a stripe? <laughs> just, like, a brown... A brown Bro, stripe just like right in the middle of your meat? <laughs> Bro. Oh, man. Yo, that'd be... Oh that'd be wild. I mean, I say it all the time. Like, I absolutely would give up three inches to be three inches taller. But, 
you know, I, I, I feel like, uh, like I was created this way specifically to not, to like, n not do crazy shit. Like I'm supposed honestly, to. Honestly, most of these girls can't even tell that you under six feet. Let's be real. Um, me, yeah. If I was, if I was like five ten, I could get away with it. But I'm five eight. Yeah, so I mean, like, I'm five ten in J's. So. Oh uh, yeah, I don't even wear J's, so I can't. Oh uh, yeah, you gotta, yo. I'm telling you. I don't you even. You get qualify. an extra inch with that. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, the ones I got, I'm, I'm gonna send you the link. An extra you. inch, you say? They give you, yeah, it gives you an extra lift, uh, inch. Mm, mm. A little bit of oof. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Air Jordan liftoffs, man. I'm telling you. Hey, man. You know, I've never been a person to, uh, you know, be one for like uh, buying sneakers and stuff like that. Uh, so buying Jordans is never on my. Nah, uh, don't don't like they're cheap. Like, they're like 60, 60 to eighty bucks. Oh yeah, yeah. Sale, slide like, slide years that. Ago. Yeah, yeah. I got them on sale for like two years ago. Oh yeah. And you can, if you get them on StockX, you can get them cheaper. Mm. I definitely need those for sure, for sure. Okay. I need the Miles Morales joints too. I've always wanted those, but they're oh, just mad brothers. expensive. They are too expensive. Yeah, I don't understand. I thought Some about creating issues. my own on like Nike.com <laughs> because they, the the fake ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. fake Spider Mans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was I was considering the Spider Moons. That. Yeah. <laughs> you want the Spider Moons or you want the Spider Mons? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're different. They're different. Yikes. <laughs> hey man, I couldn't. I don't know. I've uh, my girl has a lot of like sneakers and tennis shoes and stuff like that. But also, you remember that conversation we were having earlier about you know like your girl having yeah. male friends and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, like yeah. before I came along, they were buying each other shoes and shit like that. I I told her you had to dead that shit. That shit got to stop. <laughs> Not only is that, I mean, that's cool. Like that's cool, but I don't know. That's cool for your friend to do, but like when your boyfriend sees that shit, that's you know you got to know that's yeah, disrespectful. That's a little alarming. Yeah, I'm like, oh, so niggas just buying you shoes, huh? He not buying me no shoes. Although, I think, so He he's the one who bought her the PS5, right? I think in order for her to get me to stop, like, bitching at her about it, she had him buy me a PS5. She had to. Because nah, not... That's crazy if he bought... If he yo, bought if he one. bought my PS5, I hope that nigga enjoys the taste of my dick in his mouth. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> because he's chasing a girl that does not fucking want him and she's just you know she calling me daddy every night you know what i mean like this girl don't want you bro and you just steady buying her matter of fact i i think i've shown it on stream my entire pop collection with like the limited edition aladdin the limited edition jafar and like the infinity gauntlet and all this other stuff all this other limited edition shit came from him she went she went and she was like oh it'd be so nice if i if you could get me these, because he works for for the Funko Pop Company, right? So he just obviously, you know, gets these from corporate. So she had him get some limited edition ones, and she gave them to me. She's like, "Yeah, I had I had homeboy pick these up for you." I'm like, "Hmm, yo, that's crazy." <laughs> and so now that's why you know when we were talking about it earlier, and um, <laughs> uh, and we were just like, "Oh yeah, you know, you got to stop all that shit." I got gifts. <laughs> this guy don't even know <laughs> that I'm getting these gifts. <laughs> so I can't I can't be like entirely too mad. So I'm just like all right, I I guess. But I mean, I'm still I still got to I still got to run the hands with dude cuz he's fucking disrespectful. I'm not even going to lie. Mm. I told my girl, <clears throat> I was like, "Yeah, don't ever have him come over to your house and you know I'm coming over or anything like that." Like and she's like, oh, what's it going to be like, you know, later on? Because we have been talking about moving together and stuff like that. And uh, she was like, oh, what is he just like not allowed to come by? I was like, my, none of my homegirls are coming by. And she's like, but that's not fair to them. I was like, I don't give a fuck about them bitches. I don't have to be fair to them. I'm dating you, not them. Like, I don't give a fuck how they feel. Like, True. hey, these bitches could be mad all, all they fucking want to. Oh, Jay, you never invite us over. You never do this, that. Nope. Absolutely not. Because I have respect for my woman. But apparently she don't got respect for me because... She was talking about, oh, yeah, it wouldn't be fair to him if he can't come. I'm like, that nigga not coming to my house. So I told her, I was like, yo, listen, this is what I'm going to compromise. If you have homeboy coming over and you still want to hang out and stuff like that, uh, clearly I want to be with you, but, you know, you you just don't want to lose a friend. Okay, I understand that. That's a, that's a terrible ultimatum for somebody to give you. So here, how about this? If he comes by, I'm leaving. This is my house, but I'm leaving. Mm. <laughs> he better be gone by the time I come back home. That's it. I'm going to let's do. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do something, man. It's, yeah. Me and producer Plank got an episode anyway. So, you know, 
Yeah. I'll be back in two, three hours. If his ass is still here, we gonna have a problem. We gonna have a fucking problem. And she, mm. she didn't like that answer, but she didn't have nothing to say in response. So, she claims she want to be with me. All right. Well, these are the rules and regulations. So, if you decide to break those, then you know what the fuck about to happen. So, it is what it is. But speaking of bitches, um, <laughs> what do you think of this speed situation with him getting banned, man? That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, he said, "Is that a female talking to me? Is that a bitch? Is that a?" <laughs> Is that a bitch talking to me? <laughs> I don't know why people are are surprised. Um, to be to be blatantly honest, with mm. you. it's like it's like banning low tier god. Like, yeah, he says some wild and flagrantly bad shit, but you knew what kind of community he was cultivating. You know who he is, right? You know what he's built like. Exactly. You know what his audience is about. Like exactly. Like you've been knew this. Like yeah. he's been doing this for years. Speed and uh, speed and LTG. I, LTG so, has gotten a lot better though. Um, yeah, he has gotten because I think he was ever like since he got unbanned. Yeah, ever since he got unbanned, he was like, oh, clearly I can't, uh, I can't speak my mind and my opinion, so I'm just about to change everything. And the changes that he did make make him like way more money. I, here's a here's what's interesting uh, when I was comparing it uh, to LTG situation. Um, LTG, I feel like did not make a change as a person. He made a change as a content creator. So I, I don't think anything is different about him. The difference with that yeah. in Speed is I can't tell if this is what Speed is actually like as a person. Because obviously I don't know him. But, yeah. you know, if Speed is going around talking to women openly like this and just, you know, disrespected women and shit. I mean, Speed's a funny guy, but I would never invite him to something. Like, yeah. he's, he's never somebody I, I would like, hey, yo, come by. We having a kickback or something like that. This, this dude going to be a fucking clown. It's the thing is with speed is that I, honestly he, his his persona has gotten so uh, so ingrained in his own personality that you it's very hard to tell when he's playing speed and when he's just himself. Right. Mm. But low tier god, you know when the act stops, right? Because he doesn't do that in person. I don't know if speed does it like does the has right. the same energy, right? I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know speed like that. But his content only revolves around that. So what did you expect? Yeah, I'm not saying true. it's right. I'm not saying it's, you know what I mean, anything like that. Do you think it was right you to ban I mean? him? Uh, well, I mean, if you got to think, any platform is going to ban you for that. Right. They do that with even you know they they pull up the racist clips of them being racist to him, but it's, you know what I mean. They're going to ban you regardless if you do something they don't agree with. I'm surprised this Jason R guy hasn't been banned for his comments. Oh, is that the guy who's like, oh, I don't play with bitches? Yeah, he was like, oh uh, he was dodging cues with girls and things like that. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean, wouldn't play with them. I do that in Apex. I mean, my my only comment on that is that you can play, do literally whatever you want. It's yeah. your experience with the game. It's not, you know what I mean? It's whatever. Granted, his comments afterwards are weird. I mean, granted, it is sexism, but I, you know what I mean? It's, it's sexism, the, the comments, but I mean, dodging people in games is like, who cares? Why do you, do you really care? Hmm. Because there's only, even, even then there's only a, a, like in, he's at the top level of Valorant, his game. Right. There is a percentage of women who are not only playing the game, but at the highest level of the game is so low that he's really only not he's not really doing anything insane right yeah yeah but he's, his comments are insane he's probably skipping what like one to two games every 30 matches probably if like that. 10 to 15 yeah he, he, if that yeah it could be even worse yeah so you know it's probably but one you know every... what i mean his comments are weird his little little spout with Tarek is was weird but i mean at this at the same time it's like yeah, that is weird, but what are you really going to do about it? You especially because it's about especially because it's not like it's illegal. It's not like it's it's hurting like people in a physical way. It's really just like, "Hey, I have a specific way that I want to play. I don't want to play with these specific, you know, types of people or anything like that. So, I should be able to curate my gaming experience the way I want to." Uh, the way with speed is just you know he's just trolling, man. Like I, I don't, I don't, I don't even see a reason to like 
ban him for that. Like, I mean, maybe like a temporary ban, but not like a perma ban. Like, it should be like some type of because you know nobody likes somebody being toxic in a fucking video game. Yeah. But also at the same time, it's like, okay, you're creating a line in the sand by creating a line in the sand and saying this is this is too much. Like we have to punish this. You also now need to punish the people who were equally, if not more, fucked up to him and other players. So by only banning speed because uh, his clip got popular, what about all the other people that are saying some wild shit in Valorant? Like they they get banned, but not usually to that. Uh, to, like they don't. They usually get banned for lesser sentences. Like there was this one time my friend was toxic in in his own Valorant game, and then my other friend reported him, and he got banned for, like, a week. You know what mm. I mean? But, he and he's usually toxic in games. Like, not on voice chat, but he'll, like, type something crazy. Right, right. Yeah, that's... So, it's it's very strange that they gave him the, the end-all, be-all sentence, mm. and then other people would probably, like, the people who were racist to him, they probably got a week. If if they even got banned at all, yeah, yeah, they would only get a week. So it it just seems like they're punishing him like crazy, crazy because they want to make an example out of him. Right. Yeah. Like it's... I don't like even the guy who posted the clip already. Uh, like the first time he was like, "Oh, I don't want to cancel him, yada yada yada," but I just wanted to bring attention to it. And it's like you knew what was gonna happen. When you yeah, 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 yeah. You knew exactly what it was, even if you, you were just exactly. trying to share it. Otherwise, you should have just shared that shit privately with the people you were trying to share it with. Like, that's that's or a capability you can do on Twitter. To, to riot. Yeah, that's just it. Report the clip to riot. Yeah, straight straight to the source. It would a uh, boom. There you go. But you was you was trying to clout chase. You was trying to get some coins. I, no, I don't think he was clout chasing. The I, guy think, I mean, when you post clout. when you post stuff like that, obviously you're posting it because you want attention. Well, you're not posting it for your own benefit. Like you're really just, you're he's really not. A, he, he's a content creator with a, a decent size, uh, yeah. a very large exactly. Fan base. So when you got a fan base, I mean, you trying to you trying to spread something. That's it. It's not like it's not like if I. If I post a, a picture or a video of something, it's not like I posted it and didn't didn't want anybody to see it. Of course I wanted people to see it. That's why I fucking posted it. Like <laughs> That's true. And that, that's even at at my small size and I get what? Dog shit engagement? Come on now. This guy knew exactly true. what the fuck he was doing. Well you so. only get engagement when, you know, you said you're about to quit, so yeah, and then, I, and man, then I gotta farm and it. instantly people give a fuck. Yeah. And then you know what's crazy is when I'm uh, when I'm creating content on a regular basis, well, when I actually was creating content on a regular basis, none of those engagements, none of it, none of it. Yeah, it's like a third of what I uh, of the dog shit engagement that I already get. Like anytime I I threaten to quit, or anytime I'm just like, hey, I'm not feeling it, or if I'm talking shit, all of a sudden it's just like, oh, okay, there's there's some interest there. There's some interest in. You know, other content creators wanting to have conversations with me, but the second I actually make some fucking content, it's just like, oh, didn't see it, sorry. Like what? Like, eh. But I don't know if that's a internet thing or just, I don't know. I try not to get salty about that type of stuff. I just figure. I mean, it, it it happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're when you're existing, you're existing, but when you're suddenly you you got to go take a hiatus, it's there's a people give. A fuck. Yeah. And it, it's not right. You know what I mean? And when you're in your P's and Q's, that's when you should get, you know what I mean, people fuck with your shit. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, that's that's how people, you know what I mean, when they see you're gone, now it's like, oh, oh, shit. shit. Yeah. Now you're yeah. a hot commodity or mm -hmm. something like that. Right. And there's, you know what I mean, it's what it is. I mean, I've never really, I mean, I've had this conversation, I mean, we've even had this conversation together. Like, content creation is not that hard. Like, it's not that hard to, like, come up with a few ideas to do things and then... We have yeah. the tools to market them and shit like that. It's it's just the actual like legwork, and sometimes you're just not in the mood to do the actual legwork yeah. and post it here, post it here, edit it a certain way so it can be posted here, so it thrives a little bit better. Like all of that very very minimal, like very 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 tiny minuscule shit that you have to do gets piles up and gets really annoying after a while. So. That's just kind of been one of my biggest issues with it. So when I see stuff like this, it's just, I'm like, damn. Like, it's even like the Will Smith thing. Like, I, I even commented on it. I was like, damn, podcasters about to eat for a whole month because of this. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you know, 
But and not um, only that, but news sources too, because oh, yeah, somehow yeah, yeah. people give a shit about fucking news, big news organizations, even yeah. though we all know they're fucking garbage. Yeah, they're definitely fucking terrible, terrible human beings. But I mean, you know, they they need That'll bread, man. The next episode. Yeah, for sure. We'll we'll definitely talk about that because I, I I for sure wanted to talk about the Will and Jada thing. But I think we've I think we've kind of ranted a little long enough. You have anything you want to tell the people before we jump out of here? Uh, thank you for listening. Oh yeah, absolutely. Thank you. For, yeah, thank you for supporting the Patreon. Thank you for supporting the show every single week, uh, even when we don't put out a show. Um, sure. Yeah, if there's anything that you guys would like us to talk about, make sure to tweet us. Uh, also, if you have access to the Discord, which you should be able to have access to that, it's available on our Patreon now. Um, I took care of that before the recording of this show. Well, I drafted it. I'm not gonna lie, I drafted okay. it, and uh, people will have access to the to the Patreon, and uh, we'll have a. Uh, Pretty soon, within the next month or so, when we start getting a, a little bit more consistent and Plank is able to start taking his money, uh, we'll <laughs> we'll start the Instagram up and we'll do a separate oh, TikTok you know, specifically for it, huh? Uh, I, I'm sorry to cut you off. No, no, no. Uh, go ahead. I was I was just doing. Uh, the I want to say card. shout out to the patrons. Thank you so much. As, uh, and we're probably gonna start getting a, a title card for thanking patrons at the end of the videos. Yes, yes, yes. I'll work on that today. Actually, funny enough. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, if you guys would like to have your, your names dropped at the end of any of the uh, episodes, make sure to support our podcast uh, on Patreon, patreon.com slash canon culture. That's C-A-N-O-N uh, in the word culture, no spaces. So, uh, But with that being said, we will catch you guys next week. Thank you guys for listening. Make sure to keep it canon.